series let's paint a statue and with this video we are going to officially start our regular videos where I take a particular statue and paint it from start to finish using different techniques different colors and all sorts of different designs and the past videos I've done up to now have mostly been instructional about different techniques what kind of paints I use and such so now from here on out we're gonna go with different statues uh, usually about every two weeks there should be a new video coming out and at this point we're getting ready it's not quite there yet as of this filming but very soon on our website at rubbermoldman.com, the statues that I'm gonna be using in these videos, we're actually gonna sell those online. Uh, as you know, I mainly just sell the molds online so that you can make the statues, but some folks just want the statues themselves, so you'll be able to get a statue unpainted, painted along with a video, or if you just wanna get you know past all that and just have the statue, I'll have a few of them all painted up and ready to go as well, but that's just coming uh, soon, not quite there yet. So let's get to it then. Uh, now you may have seen, if you've watched some of my old videos, this statue before of this mermaid is a very popular statue. I do it in several colors. Today we're going to do something a little different. Because it's a mermaid, you think ocean, you think sea life, water. So we're going to do a very nice blue finish, but it's going to be done a little differently. Now it already has a black base coat. In fact, I just did it. It's still not 100% dry. Check out my previous videos to find out uh, how to do a proper base coat to make sure it's done properly. But again, this one's a black base coat. Now we're gonna use some of this nice bright blue paint here. And again, I, I just recently found these little bottles of exterior paint, so I'm gonna be giving them a try. So we're gonna get this here, and I'm gonna go fairly heavy with the blue here. And we're gonna do a fairly heavy dry brush on it. Uh, I want most of the blue covering it up, and where it's a little wet with the black, that's fine. We're just gonna kind of let it uh, mix in. This is not to be the finished coat that we're gonna do. We're gonna actually add to this. So right now it's just getting blue over most of the statue, letting some of that black show through in spots. And again, you might be able to see through the video that the black isn't a really um, super good coat of black because it's watered down. Uh, there's spots where it's thinner and you can kind of see like right in there. That's fine because we're just gonna be blending the paint in there and mixing it up. I'm not the least bit concerned. You can also see I'm doing some kind of smashing moves with the brush here to get in areas. Uh, because I'm doing this a little wetter and blending the different colors of paint, sometimes the actual brushing motion tends to smear the paint and you see brush marks, whereas the kind of smashing it in, you avoid that. So any spot where you just want to get it in a little more, just smash it in. Just get it there. Come to this side. And just do the whole thing like this. A little bit more. So I like these little bottles because I can just put a little paint out as needed. When I would buy it in big cans all the time, I often had a lot of waste because I didn't know exactly how much paint I need. This time, now I can just put a little bit of paint out at a time as needed. It works great. All right, we're almost done with this part. Let's get up here. And again, this coat does not have to be very precise. We're just getting a lot of the blue here and there on the piece. Okay, from what I can tell, it looks pretty close to being coated all over with the blue. We'll just kind of smash some here and there. Now normally, if I'm going to do a couple different colors on a piece, I would let this first coat dry completely. We're not going to do that this time. I'm going to let it, I'll, I'll say half dry. I still want a bit of this blue to be a little bit wet. So we're going to maybe let it sit for a minute or so and then come back. But that's about it. So we'll be right back. Now we're back. Like I said, we just waited a minute or so, so it's still a little bit wet, not dry, the blue color. So we're now what we're going to do is just take some white exterior paint. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm not even cleaning a brush or getting a different brush. We're going to get some of this white paint. And as you see, it instantly becomes a nice light blue. And we're going to use this and just kind of, now we're just going to kind of brush over here and there and hit the statue in spots, sponge it in in spots and just kind of let the paints blend a little bit. We want more of a natural uh, look to the paint, and it can get a little messy at times looking, and that, that's the point. We want this to look uh, blended, not uh, brush strokes, the way you get with uh, a lot of the dry brush techniques. And you see, it just kind of softens it out, 
and up here where the technique or the uh, detail is, we just kind of sponge it in lightly. And if you get spots that need a little more light color, you just get a little more white on your brush and go. But a little bit of white will go far on this part because it, it uh, like we said, it's blending and you just kind of get a nice, and, and it's really up to you. You make it as light as you want. I could leave it like this, this color it's going now, or I could give it another minute to dry and then come back and add even some more white on top of it. Uh, you know, seawater, when you go to the tropics and that, when it's blue, uh, you get the froth of the water that comes up, the foam and that, and you get this mixture of white and dark blue and light blue, and it's beautiful. That's basically what we're trying to replicate here. And of course, this is just one of many, many finishes you could do on this particular statue, but I don't think I've ever shown this type of finish before. And it's very popular, very simple, and I think it looks very elegant for a statue like this, but it works great on pretty much any type of concrete statuary. Okay, so take another look here. Uh, why don't we go ahead, you know, this would be fine just as is. You know, a little touching up here when I can see the other angles. Uh, but let's give it one more minute and I'm gonna come back with just a little bit more white just to show you how you can take this and uh, lighten it up even more. And we're back one more time. Again, this could be finished as far as I'm concerned. This is a great look to the statue, but I'm gonna show you how you can add even a little bit more white once it's dry. Each time you do this, uh, the blending will get lighter and lighter and you wanna do it lighter and lighter coats on here. So now we're just gonna kind of hit some highlights and just mainly where the detail is at first so that the brush does the work for you and the paint just kind of automatically comes off. But you see how now we're just getting that nice uh, effect with the white there. And then on smooth areas like this, just kind of gently tap it in. And since it's still a little bit wet, we're gonna come back and kind of blend that in here in a minute. But again, let's just go on here and get some of that white in the areas. And now we'll just start working it in a bit. Again, letting the brush and the paint do the work for you. Just don't, if you see a big spot of one color that looks out of place, go back and blend over it a little bit. If you mess up completely and you just think it looks horrible, go over it with the base coat again. There's no way to mess one of these up to where it's uh, beyond redeeming. So you can always go back and touch up the paint job on these statues, no problem. So there's no need to worry about. In fact, that's half the fun. When I was doing this as a kid at the family business, I was the one that constantly was experimenting with different finishes. And honestly, I came up with a lot of different finishes that our family ended up utilizing in our statue business. So I, I just found it fun. It was an enjoyable hobby that I was able to help with the family business. But you see now how that lightened it up even more. And we have even more of a, I, I don't wanna say authentic, ocean water look, but you get the idea. It's a nice cool effect, uh, cooling effect. You know, the, the blue colors are on the cool spectrum of uh, colors. And I think it works great with any type of uh, mermaid statues, which are very popular. And again, we could even go over that again with more white in that, but I think we're gonna call it quits on this one. Uh, I'm gonna come to around the front and just take a look. I think I pretty much got her. It's hard to see from the angles when we're doing these videos, but I think I pretty much got it. But I hope that uh, shows you this nice, beautiful finish that's very easy to do using really three colors, the black base coat, and then just a nice bright blue and some white. And you get this beautiful finish for your statues. So until next time, uh, happy painting, and we'll see you soon.